What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Mickey. Mickey is doing the first <laughs> days of the trip with me. Um, as I mentioned on the previous vlog, today we'll be covering the coastal path on the west side of Cornwall. Instead of starting closer to St. Ives, we decided to do both coastal paths today. So we started on the uh, furthest away from St. Ives where we were, which is St. Agnes. And we're going to do that first. There's some mine houses that are very popular and the coastal path might take around two to three hours and then once we finish that then we're gonna go uh, around the north cliffs close to St. Ives and behind me is okay not Mickey <laughs> like behind me is when you're taking the shot uh, <laughs> and behind me is the beach at the bottom we started from there because the view is very nice i think this is the beach that is very popular for surfing there are some parking spaces actually you don't have to pay anything so that's great if you come on a car we're starting now towards hanover cove which is going to be our first stop and the views are really really beautiful the water here is very blue and there is plenty to explore The views from Hanover Cove were one of my favorite on this whole hike, especially when seen from above. After Hanover Cove, there were plenty more views to enjoy, and we even got the chance to spot a seal. the coastal path goes down towards St. Agnes Beach. So we took the opportunity to go to the loo and enjoy some ice cream before going back up. Just on the last portion of the path, you'll find one of the most popular views you get whenever you search for St. Agnes, the Wilcouts. This is a former tin mine located right by the coast, offering a unique landscape that you don't get to see very often outside Cornwall. So, needless to say, I had to take plenty of photos here. you 
you go down towards Chapel Both Beach. And while you can continue towards Both Town Beach, we decided to stop here as it was time to move on to our next destination. Little did we know we would get stuck at the beach as we could not get a taxi from there. Hello, um, is it possible to have a taxi from Chapel Porth Beach until Perrin Porth? Depends, what time do you want it for? Um, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, it won't be as soon as possible, possible. I don't know, I'll have to chat the other driver. Can you be back in about 10 minutes because he's got the cookie and he's got a signal? Do you want me to call um, in 10 I minutes? Really yeah, just read back about 10 minutes and then let me know. Okay, thank you. I don't know what the day is, but I'll get on 10 minutes. Bye. After calling them back in 10 minutes without success, I made my way down to the beach again, where there is absolutely no network, and asked strangers if they could give us a lift back to where we started the hike. Just as we got to Perrinporth, we made our way to Hanley's Tapas restaurant, which unfortunately was rather disappointing. <laughs> And to finish the day, we drove back to St. Ives to spend the night in a place with very cute and unique Airbnbs. Yep. Okay, the space isn't bad. So I ended up not doing the second coastal path because we actually took four hours to do the whole coastal path. Yes, I did take uh, a lot of photos as usual. I did stop quite a lot and I also flew my drone, so that takes some time. Uh, but yeah, and that was very tiring. So tomorrow I'm going to try to do the um, North Cliffs, as I said, next to St. Ives. And today we are staying at a location um, hosted by Chris. He has like loads of different Airbnbs that you can stay at. And the one I am staying at uh, is actually a hut. They call it a hut. It's quite an okay space, actually. And then you have the view to the outside. And there were some bunnies in there. And I absolutely love bunnies. So I will see if I can get my other camera and try to record the bunnies. Because they're really cute. Um, and yeah, horses. If you're looking for a different stay, then I think this is a pretty nice, like, very cool uh, spot to come to and uh, have, like, just sleep in a different place, really. Uh, the toilet, I'm going to show you in a minute, it's slightly different as well. You have the toilet seat and the shower in the same place, which can be a problem if there's too many people in the morning uh, trying to have a shower, for example, and go to the loo at the same time. But uh, he has about, I think, four Airbnbs in the area. My goodness, there's bunnies there. Bunny's so cute! So freaking cute. Saint Ag Saint Ag Ooh. Uh West Side West. Uh. Yeah. 